And it also feels like you've kind of managed to use your mixed heritage as something that's quite grounding as opposed to how it often makes um, some people who are mixed feel. So like I, I'm mixed, my mum is Malaysian and Thai, my dad's English and there's lots of different influences. When I was younger, mm. I have all these times where I was abroad, I'd spend the full summer holidays there. Um, sometimes it makes people feel disconnected, whereas with you, I feel like you've managed to pull it all in and it's it's made you more grounded. Well, I think I think you kind of don't get me wrong. It's different. There's there's different circumstances. But in my particular circumstance, I've occasionally had the choice to be bitter about it. Even you know, I've definitely had people try to change my name in the music industry in England. Uh, because Saboretti doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. <laughs> um, I think it does. Well, well it does, it does whoever they it, are. It <laughs> no, but but I chose, and and there were a few years where I used to sort of go, why, uh, <laughs> you know. But then I kind of got, I think with age comes a little bit, you change your perspective, and I started to celebrate rather than to even rather doing rather than to even make it a discussion or to make it to really focus on the fact that I, I have been brought up by, by other music than just English music. Now that could be a crutch, that could be something I could really be, I could almost complain about, you know, oh, oh I wish people would just listen to something different. Or I can say, hey, come over here and listen to this. Like, and, and that's it. You know, if, I, if, if I'm with a room full of my mates in London, and everybody's, you know, as English as English can be. And I say, let's, like, let's put on some Gypsy King. I'm probably going to get kicked out of the party. But if I just go ahead and do it, and I'm the first guy on the dance floor dancing, I can guarantee you that everybody's going to follow me. Nobody's going to kick me out. It's kind of just about celebrating it. Rather than, I'm not, I'm not trying to preach here or to, like, even educate about European music. I, I God forbid I would do that. I'm not going into any intellectual sort of, diagnosis of what European music is. I'm just celebrating something that I don't think we've acknowledged, especially over the last five years when, as a European with German blood, English blood, Italian blood, grew up in Switzerland, uh, married an English Welsh girl, um, have Austrian and Polish blood from my grandparents. I, you know, they say, write about what you know. I know about Europe. I've traveled Europe. And there are things that divide us culturally. Uh, there are things that divide us politically and economically. But culturally, we have so much more in common than that, that which divides us. Mm -hmm. So I, and the music shows that, you know, <laughs> you can go to the most strenuous sort of, I don't know, Brexiteer, and I'm sure he loves or she loves ABBA. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, we all have this thing that we can celebrate that we do share in common. And as a European, I think music is our greatest thing. 